Hi, I'm Darren from Blackmagic Design, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a downstream keyer when working with an ATEM production switcher. Now, downstream keyers are often preferred for graphics or titles that do not change throughout a production and sit on top of any graphics or effects that happen behind. So they're perfect for things like channel logos or live bugs, for example. Let's jump into the software and take a look at how they're set up. Inside the ATEM software control, the first thing we need to do is go to our media tab. This is where we're going to be able to bring in media to use for our downstream keyers. Now, the great thing is that the ATEM installer includes some fantastic example graphics and we can practice with them straight away. I really like the news live bug that can be found in the news templates folder. So once I've found that, I can simply drag that in to one of my stills stores. And as you can see, it's populated into Media Player One, ready for me to use. I now simply jump across to the Switcher tab. And within Switcher tab, I go to the Palettes menu. Within the Palettes menu, you can see we have the Downstream Keys option. Within Downstream Keys, I need to select that graphic that I have in the media pool. So from the fill source, I need to find Media Player One, which automatically populates the key source with Media Player One key as well, which is perfect because it's going to bring across the transparency within the area of the graphic that is transparent. Once that's loaded in, I can close down my downstream keys menu, and then I have a few different options of how I bring that graphic to air. The first thing I can do is simply turn it on air with the on air button. So if you watch my multi-view output, you can see as I click on air, the graphic comes on air. I can also transition this onto air as well. So you can see I have my transition rates here. If I change that to two seconds, for example, I can select an auto transition and transition the graphic on air as well. The third way to utilize it is to use the tie button. And the tie button will effectively tie the graphic to the overall transition that's taking effect on my ATEM switcher. So when I come down to the transition block over here and transition between two sources, it ties the graphic to that transition. And now when I come away from that source and back to the first one, the graphic will also go away. So there's three really effective ways in which you can use that graphic. So that's how you set up a downstream keyer on your ATEM switcher. If you need any further information, please do visit our website at www.blackmagicdesign.com.